Solve by elimination. x plus y equals 3 and x minus y equals 7. Now in this problem we could use substitution because the x's and the y's don't have leading coefficients that would require dividing and getting fractions. But because our goal is to practice elimination, we're going to use elimination here. And we can line up those two equations. We can stack them on top of each other just as they are. x plus y equals 3 and x minus y equals 7. And we can add them just like they are x plus x gives us 2x, but if we look at combining the y's, y minus y ends up being 0. These y's cancel out. And then on the right, 3 plus 7 equals 10. So this problem works really well for elimination because when we stack the equations on top of each other and add them together, the y's end up canceling. So we end up with 2x equals 10, and the last step to getting x alone is dividing by 2. When we do that, that gives us x equals 5. Now, we've got the value for x. We still need to solve for y, so we're going to have to plug this in. You can pick either equation you want, but it's going to be a little bit simpler to pick the first one, x plus y equals 3, because there's no negatives there. In the other one, it's x minus y, and that's going to cause just a little bit more work down the line. So let's take x plus y equals 3, and let's substitute in 5 for x. That gives us 5 plus y equals 3. And to get y alone, we subtract 5 from both sides, giving us y equals 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So we have our final answer, x equals 5 and y equals negative 2. Now, if you want to check and make sure that the answers are correct when you're solving by elimination, you use the same method that you did before, plugging them in and checking. If we look at the first equation, x plus y equals 3, well, we saw that x is 5 and y is negative 2. So we've got 5 plus negative 2 equals 3. Well, 5 plus negative 2 is the same as 5 minus 2, and we know that 5 minus 2 is 3. So that is correct. It checks in the first equation. If we look at the second equation, x minus y equals 7, and substitute in the values that we got, we have 5 minus negative 2 equals 7. And since 5 minus negative 2 is the same as 5 plus 2, this becomes 5 plus 2 equals 7, which is correct. And this verifies that our answer of x equals 5 and y equals negative 2 is the correct answer to this system of equations.